What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj and I'm back with the first player review of Madden 20. Now, I chose Marcus Allen for a reason. You guys know I like running backs. This year, running is pretty overpowered. A lot of people have this card. A lot of people were super hype about it and were saying, Tech, you gotta put evasive on this guy. Now, we decided to go ahead and put freight train on him, which increases the chance to break the next tackle attempt. You know, you have to make three 10 plus yard rushes to activate it. So of course abilities, I put Homer and Clutch, but this is a big one, evasive. It gives you faster animations for spin and juke moves. Now my worry with spin and juke moves is that it's really easy to fumble. Even though this card has 89 carrying, before I put those two abilities on him, I was fumbling a, quite a bit with this card. There was one game where I probably fumbled four times and it was really frustrating me. You know, trucking's 85, elusiveness 84, ball carry vision, which is huge, was 89, but his spin move is 89 as well. His juke move is 86. I gotta be honest with you, when I first started playing with this card, I was passing the ball too much, not giving him the ball enough, and to be fair, I didn't have those abilities on him. So for this player review, I wanted to show you guys whether or not it was worth it to put those on. Is it just gonna be a fumble party, or, or, or what is it? Um, you know, so this, he has 84 break tackle, which is great. 94 break sack, which is kind of hilarious. And look, the third under pressure is 97, which is funny. If you go back and look at Mark Al Marcus Allen highlights, you'll see that he was a pretty decent thrower as well. This is a squad right here, pretty good squad. It's not the best line, but definitely more than good enough. So let's go ahead and take him out to the field. And the first couple of games and the first couple of run attempts, if you can see, I'm still kind of spamming A because I'm not really comfortable being outside of conservative. Until I saw that, that's what kind of started giving me some of the confidence because even I was kind of surprised at how good the juke move was. Now, my opponent turned off his Xbox here because I had a couple user lurks with Ken Houston, who I might do a player review on later. By the way, let me know in the comment section below who you wanna see a player review on and what X Factor traits you want me to give him. The cool thing about this card as well is that he was really good out of the backfield, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on his pass catching ability. What I really want to show you is how easy it is to utilize this guy when you have confidence and you have your timing down on the jukes and spin moves. Now I got to give you an asterisk there as you can see some of the crazy animations that he gets. I have terrible run stick. Overall, I'm pretty bad at this game. This card is going to completely bail you out. As you can see, most of my opponents here were wanting either pinch bug zero or pinch dog to press i believe it is or some variation of it they were stacking the line so on these player reviews i'm showing you game by game of what i was doing with this player and that's where he's deadly i felt like when he lit up on the spin moves and the juke moves it was damn near impossible for him to fumble if you've watched my stream you've known how terrible i can be at this game by the way, link in the description below so you can see my Twitch. Come and join us guys and laugh at how terrible I am at this game. But with that, watching these highlights, you would never tell. Some of those fumbles that I was plagued with after I put this ability is, I never fumbled even after taking big hits. As you can see there, I spun in the backfield. Most of these were hit stick att attempts and it was a really good counter to those things. Right here, he goes out in the open field. As you can see, one of my favorite parts about him, and right here, that is so vicious. Not only was he quick with the animations, but the cuts coming out of it did not feel sluggish at all. If people stacked the box like this against me and only put two players that they were trying to use her with, they had little to no chance to stop me. And it wasn't necessarily because their, their, their user stick was bad. It's just these animations are way too quick for that. You have to be putting more people in the box, actually have them playing their run fits properly. If not, you're gonna torch them. And it was forcing my opponents to get out of these super tight sets or else this was gonna keep happening and happening because if they didn't secure a tackle with their first ball, you know, their first defender, it was over. Also, without having to juke and stuff like that, being able to cut really fast in and out was super devastating. The other thing is the stamina on this card was ridiculous. Uh, in some of these games, and I'll show you the stats afterwards, I was giving him the ball 31 times and he was still in there. Now, I think there's like one or two highlights in here where Jim Brown sneaks in here. But other than that, most of the time he was sneaking up and down the field right there. You see the juke 
and I felt like he was breaking tackles in and out. If you got X Factor, it was over. The other good thing as well is anytime I was in the open field, for the most part, he burnt most cornerbacks, which was pretty good top end speed. With that 89 speed that he has, 88 or 89 speed, there's not too many guys that can run him down. And it was really hard. As you see right there, he spins and makes two defenders run into each other. This game against this opponent was a shootout. I've never been in a shootout where most of my scoring came from running. Like I said, guys, earlier, I mean, this is some of the most fun I had with the card, um, hands down, and it wouldn't stop. Once again, same opponent. Of course, I'm gonna do the spin. But it, I still had time to go into a stiff arm. It really was a pleasure playing with this card. 31 carries, 368 yards for an average of 11.8 yards per carry on six touchdowns in that last game that you saw. I mean, I basically showed you the highlights and the majority of the plays for this card. Now, the downside is this card's going to cost you about 230, 240. Um, you could snipe it for less, but powering them up is going to take a lot of coins if, if you factor like the training cost per coin amount. So, let me know in the description below or the comment section below. Apologies. What other running backs I should try? There's a couple of the running backs out there that have been giving similar results and I'm curious to know who you want me to try. Also, what other positions should I try? Anyway, subscribe if you're new, drop a like on the video please, and make sure you join us on Twitch.